What up folks, Cajun Blaze here, and today we get to talk about three wonderful knives. And today we're gonna highlight the Sage 3. It's the bolt action with the G10 and S30V steel. First of all, we picked up this Sage 1 a few years back. It's got the carbon fiber handle with that paper clip looking pocket clip that I was just not too sure of when I saw that. And uh, you know what? This is the original knife that I bought, and the paper clip looking pocket clip, it's, uh, it's held up pretty well, I must say. Never had any issues with it at all. It's got that spear shape blade there with that S30V steel. Just a fine blade, and I've enjoyed it for many years. Then we got the uh, Sage 2 with that Chris Reeve integral locking mechanism has titanium slabs on both sides again with that pocket clip that kind of reminds you of a paper clip does provide for low carry concealability when the knife is riding inside the pocket again has the s30v cpm s30v steel basically the same blade on all three knives i must say out of these two here I still prefer the carbon fiber. I just, I love the way that texturing is on the carbon fiber and I've always enjoyed using it. But today we're going to talk about the Sage 3. I got this for Christmas. This was a Christmas gift from my brother <clears throat> and it's just a fantastic knife. Feels great in the hand and the locking mechanism, as you know, we talked about it before, the uh, Spyderco is paying tribute to knife makers who uh, invented uh, locking mechanisms and the different lock on this one is the bolt action lock and that's uh, <clears throat> Blackie Collins who was the inventor of this bolt action lock and he came out with this for Gerber uh, Gerber knives uh, in 1981 I think I read and here we are 30 years later in 2011 Spyderco has introduced the Blackie Collins Sage 3. It's got the bolt action. There's a button right here on both sides. And you simply pull the bolt back. It releases it, the blade from the pivot point, and allows it to go back into the, its uh, folded position. And as you open it up, the bolt pops back into action and holds the blade secure. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. No. But anyway, it's got the same blade shape as the other two blades, made with the S30V steel. And it's just a beautiful blade. It's a highly functional blade. I mean, while this is a collector's item for me, I mean, I've done a video on showing you, you know, different uses of the Sage knife. And it feels great in the hand with this when you choke up like this or even if you hold it back like this it just feels great in the hand there's no problems with it it's got the same design on all three knives and it's got jimping right here in the front if you wish to use that and this is the made with the g10 scales now it's not a flow through design it does have a you know spacer back here to close it off and I, I, th I think they needed that for that bolt action locking mechanism so this is the third one that does not have the flow through design it does have uh, steel liners in there that are skeletonized and there's jimping at the choil and the spine makes for great purchase whenever you hold the blade and just very functional very functional blade and again the pocket clip is made with that paper look paper clip looking pocket clip but that's some strong steel there I mean it's definitely easy to slip in and out of your pocket but not too easy where it's gonna fall out and it rides nice and low this is kind of a grippy G10 on this blade here 
and while I didn't soak it and submerge it in water I'm just imagining from you know using other G10 style blades that this will be fine if your hands are a little sweaty or even wet overall length of the blade 7.25 inches long closed is 4.313 inches long it's got a 13 millimeter hole instead of a 14 like the uh, paramilitary 2 so the hole is a little bit smaller than the paramilitary 2 or the paramilitary <clears throat> and blade length is 3 inches exactly 3 inches but the cutting edge is 2.75 inches thickness is 0.125 inches and it's got that S30V steel and the weight of this knife is only three and a half ounces not too heavy at all and the handle is made with some wonderful looking G10 get my magnifying glass out here and I'll show you some up close shots you can see the jimping and the texture of the G10 bolt action lever you know it's it, it doesn't protrude too far out of that slot but just far enough to where you can get a decent purchase on that and the handle the G10 is put together with screws pocket clip is reversible as you can see here right or left handed no problem there CPM S30V. It's got that beautiful spider logo on it. Made in Taiwan. There's the jimping for the choil. And I hope you can see this in the video, but it's just got some really nice texturing here. So, anyway. Just want to do a little video for you and show you my Spider Coast Sage 3. Beautiful knife. I love the electric blue looking G10 on that. It just, you know, it gives it something different. And I'll show them to you side by side again so you can see. We have the Sage 1 with the carbon fiber, Sage 2 with the titanium and the Sage 3 with the G10 Walker liner lock Chris Reeve integral lock and the Blackie Collins bolt action lock for me this is just a collector's edition if they come out with a Sage 4 I'll eventually get it and there you have it I wasn't in a hurry to get this third one but my brother blessed me with a nice little Christmas gift and there you have it we had Christmas a little early in the family and I was just very grateful to pick this up from him so thank you all for watching so much I hope you all enjoyed the video and the Cajun Blaze always says not A not B but C ya y'all take care have a wonderful day come back and see us now